Hello everyone. Welcome to Hear Listen Speak. So, I welcome you all to the first video of 2021 and wish you all a happy new year. So, today's topic of discussion is ear block. I think most of us would have felt an ear block at least once in our life. Let's see what actually causes the ear block in a normal ear. Now, when we see a ear from outside, we see this pinna and pinna continues with an ear canal. At the end of ear canal, we have eardrum. Behind eardrum, we have our middle ear. Imagine middle ear like a balloon which is filled with air. The air pressure of the middle ear should be very similar to the atmospheric air pressure. If at all, the air pressure in the middle ear is more than the atmospheric pressure or air pressure in the middle ear, if it's less than the atmospheric pressure, we get the blocked sensation. Now, how does ear equalize its middle ear pressure to that of atmospheric pressure? Ear has a ventilating pipe that's called eustachian tube. Now, if this eustachian tube is not able to immediately, uh, immediately equalize the pressure of the ear to that of the atmospheric pressure, then we can feel a blocked ear. What does it feel like a blocked ear? We feel our ears are blocked and we feel a bit off balance and our own sound starts sounding a bit different and we feel our hearing is a bit reduced too. Now, this ear block can be due to many factors. It could be external factors or internal factors in our body itself. One major external factor is the air pressure itself. Now, if we go to a high altitude place or while taking off the plane or if we go down deep down the sea so all these cases high altitude places low altitude places sudden change in altitude all these can change the external pressure drastically now when all of a sudden the external pressure changes ear finds it difficult to match up with the external pressure then we get a blocked sensation if you have a normal eustachian tube functioning and the atmospheric pressure increases or decreases, this ear block is a transient feeling. Once we swallow or once we drink some water, eustachian tube would be uh, able to equalize the pressure and the blocked sensation will be removed. Another external factor which can give rise to a blocked ear is water entering the ear. It can be also called a swimmer's ear. It's mainly experienced by swimmers when water enters their ear canal and it gets trapped. But even common people can experience it at times while taking bath. So even this can give rise to a blocked sensation in our ears. Now let's see a few internal factors which can give rise to a blocked ear. First and foremost is having a common cold. When we have a common cold, as I said, middle ear is like a balloon filled with air and there is a tube which gives the air to this middle ear that's called eustachian tube one end of this tube is connected to the middle ear and other end is connected behind our nose to the upper throat so we, when we get a cold there is high chances that this tube gets blocked so when this tube gets blocked our ear pressure changes and we get a blocked sensation that's the reason why when we get a severe cold uh, with a nasal block, we feel our ears are blocked. Another reason why we can feel a blocked ear is earwax. I have done a detailed video regarding earwax. Please do check it out. So if we have impacted ears, even then we can feel our ears are blocked. Third factor which can give rise to a blocked feeling is some foreign objects inside our ear canal. It could be a ear bud, or it could be any insect that has gone into the ear. So if there is a block by a foreign object in our ear canal, even that can give rise to a blocked feeling. So in the internal factors which can cause ear block, the most serious problem is sudden hearing loss. Sudden hearing loss is a sudden loss of hearing which is majorly due to some kind of a viral infection or some other reasons which is affecting the inner ear. Now, when when we get a sudden hearing loss then all of a sudden we feel one side of our ear is blocked and we hear very less in that side 
and some people can even feel a uh, sound inside the ear and some feel off balance or giddiness and this is a serious problem which has to be attended at the earliest and if we treat this problem within 48 hours most of the people see a good improvement so if you have an ear block which is more than a day old it's always better to get it checked by an ENT just to make sure it's not because of a sudden hearing loss I hope this video was useful. See you all in the next video. Till then, happy hearing.